Uh, we don't have to worry about him. Uh, right. they, so this is a question from Stephen King on Facebook, I assume, I hope. God, I hope it's the real Stephen King. Stephen King. Um, is what is the likelihood of creating a real-world arc reactor like an Iron Man, the, the kind of artificial arc reactor heart that he has? What if any negative effects would be present if you were to house something like that within the human chest cavity? Yeah, so I like that question. So, so that's a huge... Oh, by the way, so, so I resonate more with Batman than with Iron Man because the energy source for Iron Man is too too remote for me to embrace that. Right. But if you the energy it depends on how you store it. If it's stored thermally, it would be very very hot. Right. If you store it electromechanically, you'd have a lot of uh, what are effectively wound up springs. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, there are multiple many ways you can store energy. You can store it chemically. That's what you have in the form of gunpowder. It's sitting there ready to explode, but it's not. So it's energy built in chemically. You can think of mechanically. You can think of thermally. And so um, if, you, if it was thermally, it would eventually heat him up. Right. You, you wouldn't be able to insulate it perfectly. And right. so that, that, that would be bad, be bad for him. That would be bad. Is um, there a chemical way that you'd have in the way of a gun powder where you would have a store of it and it would it would have small I think the best gradual way to, reactions and the, parts of it? The best way to do that is to have a repository of antimatter. Keep it separate from the matter mm -hmm. uh, with some kind of magnetic bottle. Mm -hmm. You can't put it in a regular bottle. I'm just cause... writing this down so I, can <laughs> do it, so I can do it later. You're going back to your lab. Hi, <laughs> where's the antimatter? <laughs> and then you'd leak out little bits of it to merge with the matter, and then you'd have energy at your disposal, and there'd be no uh, bad side effects. Great. More on antimatter when we come back to the Cosmic Queries part of Star Talk Radio. The subject, superheroes. See you in a moment. Fantastic. 